our internet. What a gorgeous sunny blue day. Brilliant. Right, um, a job I've been putting off for a little while. Well, not putting off, but just not, not had the time to do, basically. Um, on the ZX9R today, um, had the parts for quite a while. Um, and it's just a quick oil change. That's all it is, but um, you can come with me. Let's do it. Oh, there she sits. Let's get her out in the sunshine. There you go. Got the oil cutter out and the oil cutter out, <laughs> my skanky old bowl. So all we've got to do is get underneath. Um, there is a, let me see if we can get you under here. Um, this is going to be a bit hit and miss. Uh, there is a bolt just there. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Just got to undo that and uh, drain the oil out. And then the new filter goes in up there. Let's go in from this way, you probably see it better. There you go. The filters in there it's a messy old job because all the oil pulls down there and uh, yeah it creates a bit of a, a mess that's why i've got the, the oil catcher mat but uh right let's do it so i've got the wireless mic on and hopefully uh the wind noise isn't making too much drama for you um so first of all 17 mil under there cracker off like so let me catch her underneath. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. Because <laughs> there's much room to get your hand in. There we go. Right, let's see if I can do it with a socket head. Yeah, working a bit blind as well, but hey, such is life. Right, there we go, I've got the socket head on there. Again, not sure how much of this you can see, but we persevere. That Percy, he gets everywhere. Yeah, lovely, lovely oil. There you go. One bung out. As always, the oil looks pretty good. Ooh, let's put that there for a minute. Uh, yeah, again, not sure if you can see that, but nothing on the magnet at all. I've got a new one of these to go in this time. And, um, yeah, it all looks pretty clean. So nothing on there at all. Right, let me get to, let me get a rag. Yeah, a bit of a clean up. So the uh, the oil that came out of it is still golden. Um, I don't do a lot of miles on this bike, to be fair. Um, it probably does, well, less than a thousand a year, um, and that's on a good year. It's usually around between five and six hundred. But uh, yeah, I always change the oil every year because why not it's cheap enough and it saves your motor and for a bike this old obviously uh, the proof is in the maintenance because it is spot on right let me uh, get a tool to get the filter off and then we'll uh, make some more mess and then we can get the new filter on so there you go new magnet new couple washer because I've uh, Heated the old one up a few times now, so uh, yeah, it's better due for a new one. You can use copper washers again, you just got to heat them up and uh, anneal them, I think it's called, or something along those lines. There you go. Right, this is the awkward bit. A bit, bit tricky to get in there, but this tool, I'll just turn the wheel around a bit. This tool will just about go in there, and I've just about got enough room to make it work. You only need about half a turn. And it comes off because uh, I only do it hand tight. But um, yeah, it's just really tricky to get in there. Yeah, so I could have took the bottom fairing off the belly pan, but I've done this before without taking it off, so I know you can do it. It's just, ah, uh, there we go. It's just a bit tricky. Uh, that's cracked it about half a turn, so hopefully now that will just. Twist off. He says. <laughs> uh, all right, needs another half a turn. Yeah, the oil change bit itself, dead easy. Ever such a quick job. Getting your fuel filter off. Not so. <laughs> fuel filter oil filter oh god 
guy don't know what he's doing. <laughs> right, let's give it a couple of turns. Let's now see if I can, yeah, I can get it by hand. Right, let's get my drip tray under there. Because there is going to be oil everywhere, unfortunately. Come on. Keep it over that bunghole. Filter off. There we go. Untwist it. And oil goes everywhere. There we go. One oil filter out. Simples. Right, bit of a tidy up. Get the new filter on. And then uh, fill it back up with oil again. Obviously, new plug goes in as well. Right, new filter pre-lubed all around the top there. There you go, lovely jubbly. And then screw it on there. And of course, you only want to do this hand tight because as you can see, when you come to take it off, the gasket is ooh, there you go, swollen. And uh, yeah. You'll make it more difficult for yourself. Let's give that a little bit of a clean up just there. Try and get some of the oil off the headers. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's um, pull this out. Put that over there, out right the way. And then my new bung with a cup of washer on it. Goes back in, bolt back in again. New cup of washer. Um, you don't want to go hanging off these because quite frankly it's an alloy sump and if you get too carried away you will naff the threads up so it's about 15 newton meters which is there you go about there click click thank you very much and that is done so that's the new filter on and that is the new plug in so now we just need to top it up with a bit of oil. Right, and there we go. The best funnel ever made. Works for cars and bikes too, as you can see from all my other videos. So I'm going to do this with two hands. Basically, we're pouring oil in there until we start seeing it on the glass just there. When we start seeing it on the bottom of the glass, sit the bike up straight uh, just to make sure that you're not overfilling it. Good old Castrol Power One. Use this stuff for years. Uh, never let me down and uh, as you can see it comes out of oh, actually as clean as it goes in right let's get that on a bit of a tilt and in we go now again when you start seeing it on the bottom of the sight glass that's when you want to stop and just check it whoop you don't really want to be well you don't well, try not to spill it <laughs> Yeah, that's just me. Right, a bit more. Just checking the sight glass again, mopping up the dribbles. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit on the sight glass now. I hope you can see. Uh, a little bit on the sight glass there. If I hold the front brake on and pull it up a bit. Okay, at the moment, we seem to be about at the bottom. I can't see very well because I've got a camera in my hand, but uh, let me double check it and then stick some more oil in. Okay, that's about top level now. So I'll put the cap on. And give it a start. I'll get all the lovely oil going around the system. Marvellous. Not bad for a cold start. Ring! <laughs> right, that'll do. That will get it circulating around the system. Just give it a minute to uh, settle. And then uh, we'll check the spyglass again. 
But that was a good shot with the oil can in the way. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm filming this. Dun. Right, let's lean her over, let's see what we got. Yep, about halfway, so we just top her up. Yeah, to me it looks pretty good. Let me, uh, let me get you in here and see if I can do this without messing things up too much. So, front brake on. Ooh, there's the sight glass, watch the oil come up. We're about up there, there you go. So that's where we are. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's not probably that clear, but um, there you go. That's what we're aiming for, in between the middle and the top bit. All good stuff. So there you go, people of the internet. Um, all done. Relatively easy job. Getting to the filter itself, bit of a pain, um, but doable. Again, there's probably a proper tool that will fit those better and make it easier on yourself. But um, I've always done it with the the clamp, and uh, it's always worked. Um, again, use decent oil. I've always used this stuff. It's not overly expensive. Um, I forget how much it is, but uh, it's a pretty reasonable price. And uh, it's always worked well for me. So there you go. That is the ZX9R. Nice uh, blood transfusion. Ready for some more blasts out. Thanks for joining me in today. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.